All right, what's going on guys? Brash Garage, and today we are just leaving Canadian Tire because on the new daily, the headlights are fucked. So we picked this shit up, time to go home and test it out. I'm gonna show you guys how to fully restore your headlights today with just quick 20 bucks from Canadian Tire. Okay guys, so I just got this from Canadian Tire. It's Meguiar's Heavy Duty Headlight Restoration Kit. Uh, I think you can use it with a drill. I'm not too sure, but as you can see, it's just like, do not replace it, repair it, and gives you a little visual difference of what it'll be when you're done, respectively. Um, and then we got the Severe Kit, which I have, moderate and then light. So, application instructions and whatnot and then here you can see what you actually get in the kit so you get you know what let me just open it and uh, show you guys then okay guys so let's just tear into this and see you know what we got so opening it up it's like a chip bag man it's like you don't even need all this space like check it out it's a box within a box but the box that's inside is like half the oh, whatever Rip this shit out. Okay, so it's just like a little flap that pulled up. I don't know, whatever. Who gives a fuck about unboxing? Let's see what's in this shit. So, right off the bat, we got another little Velcro handheld. Uh, it's not like an applicator, but I guess you can just stick on like application pads and it just makes it easier if you don't have any power tools. This one's. Yikes, I have my phone again today, I forgot the camera again. That's why it looks so zoomed in and right up in my face. But yes, you got this little hand tool. You got this little pad that, that was a butterfly, but it doesn't stick onto this. So, oh yes, okay, so I, I know now. But you get a little teeny tiny bottle of Plastex. I actually thought this was gonna be the full size bottle but it's not, which is a little, little bit disappointing. I don't know how long this tiny bottle, it's not even as big as my hand, will last for. And it's not really like I needed the other stuff. It would have been cheaper to just, I don't know. I'm bitching. Um, and then we have the headlight coating. This is why I decided to buy the kit versus just wet sanding it and, you know, waxing or buffing it. This, they don't, I can't find it separately in stores. So obviously you could order it online, but this is what I was after. This was the coating for after because I've seen so many headlights get done that literally within the next couple days already look half as bad as they were. And so this coating should make sure they're crystal clear for, well, let's hope longer than a week. Next thing is your actual drill attachment. So you just get a nice little wool pad it actually is really nice construction. You can see the lip in there where the seam starts. It's really nice. Um, but you get this for the drill. Okay. All right. And then this is your fine little sandpaper to actually get most of that gunk off. Now, these are wet sandpaper, I believe. And so this is a little sanding block. So you go ahead, stick that on there, and then you can start going around probably with the plastics, or maybe, like I said, this is wet because this is a 1,000 grit, and then this is a 3,000 grit. So you can see the difference. This one looks like a clay bar almost, and this one has, you can feel just a very subtle amount of abrasion on there. All right, guys, I have it all figured out. So this 1,000 and this 3,000, these are both your sanding discs. This is what they like to call your sanding pad. So this is just like a little Meguiar's handheld sander specifically for those two discs that they gave you. This is an applicator bat pad, pardon me, that will be used at the end with the coating. Okay. And then the Plastex will go on with the drill attachments. So let's get some B-roll of how custy these things look. Let's dive right into it.
guys, so first thing you're going to want to do is toss on some gloves if you got them. These are chemicals, although not really corrosive or whatever. It's still, over time, shit happens, so put some fucking gloves on if you got. If you don't want to wear gloves, I don't care. Anyways, I can actually get this fucking thing on my hand. Look at this. Uh, okay. So, got your gloves on. I also picked up some microfibers because they were on sale under a dollar a rag, so can't pass that up. Bust it open, get a rag, and some soapy water. Let's head on over to the headlights and we're just gonna go ahead and just clean them off. That's it. So, let's get going. All right, now that your headlights are cleaned off, go ahead and just dry off your hands with another microfiber. Always gotta have microfibers in detailing. If you guys don't know, I do do a lot of work on cars, but I am also a professional detailer. So, showing you the quick and easy way to do your headlights. So you're gonna wash them off just like that. Then you go ahead and dry them off with the towel you just dried your hands off. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and start with the coarsest version, which is just a P1000. And again, you don't have to get this kit. Just get a 1000 grit sandpaper. Don't even need a sanding block. You just do this by hand, but this kit comes with one. Slap her on. And we're just gonna go nuts with this until it's time to do the other one. So let me show you how that looks. Hey guys, look at that. Step one is done. That is just with the thousand grit sandpaper and check out the difference between the two already. Next step, we're just gonna take the 3000 grit, put it on the same applicator pad and then keep going. Right now I'm just gonna do one of the headlights so you can really see the difference at the end. Dang guys, look at that already, hey? Just the comparison between the two, wow, that's crazy. So now we're done with the 1000 and we're done with the 3000. So we're just gonna go ahead and set these guys off to the side. Now is we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the drill and start with the uh, Plast X. Okay, so gonna go ahead and take a little puff of the vape, just cause you know. Got a subi now, so I got a I got a vape. Okay, done with that nonsense. You're gonna go ahead and get your Makita drill. No, I'm just kidding. Get whatever drill you want, or you can even literally use this by your hand if you don't have a drill. Anyways, I do. So go ahead and fit that guy. Boom, she's on there. So. Go ahead and put it down to the lowest setting. Just like that. You see it's not spinning like crazy. That's what you want. So you're gonna go ahead, take your bottle of Plast X, give it a nice shake. And of course, there will be a little seal on it. That's going to be impossible with these gloves on, yep. Okay. <clears throat> Plast X does not taste good in the mouth. Wow. Okay, that was hilarious. 
but yeah, um, I don't even know. That, that just happened. You just watched me get a nice, nice mouthful of plastic. You know what? This might be weird as fuck. Shit tastes the same as toothpaste. That's probably why so many people use toothpaste instead of this. Because they eat this fucking shit. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get it on the drill. What you're going to do is you're going to do a circle, like a spiral. You're going to start wide and then you're going to come in closer. You don't want to put a whole lot, you don't have a whole lot of this. And think about when you wax the hood versus how small the surface area is on this. So you just want a really small spiral. I'll show you. So that is going to be definitely more than enough. It didn't come out in a good spiral, but that's what I'm working with. You're going to go ahead and dab it on the headlights and then just start very slow. The reason why you want to dab it on the headlights before you pull the trigger is because if I pull the trigger right now, I am getting another face full of this. So just dab it on, spread it around, and then uh, show you what comes out of it. You guys can see the difference on that because that is pretty insane already just from doing the one wow so a little bit of detailing knowledge for you guys um, this right here is known as a wool pad okay it's super thick and it can absorb a lot like if you pull from the side you can see how thick it's sitting up and I can physically squish it. So with the Plastex, it ran out super quick there. You saw I only made like two and a half, three passes before it was all gone. So that's because this is a wool pad. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna wanna, you really wanna like massage it into the wool, as weird as that sounds. And I forgot to do that for the very first time, but you can see wool's coming out of it. So just lightly rub it in. Give it another dot, dot, dot. Just, just a little bit. Like I say, you don't need to use a whole lot. Uh, I'm gonna go over it again, and then I'll show you guys the results before we put on our final step. You see how easy this was? Like I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes doing this. It's nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead, do one more pass off camera, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I just got done my second pass, and it doesn't really look any different than the first. The first really got it. Um, if you guys can see that, nice and clear. So we're gonna go straight ahead. God, I hate filming on my phone, I forgot my camera. We're gonna go straight ahead to the sealant now and that's what this little pad is for. So you're just gonna put a line, start at the top of the headlight and work the way down. Uh, super easy, so let's start it. Sophie, what you doing, huh? Dork. Look at this. Barking at a stationary parked car. So there you go guys, that is how crystal clear our headlight came out. And these were really bad, I mean just look at that. When you turn the headlights on at night it doesn't even look like anything's coming out of them. So I am really, really impressed with that. Obviously could be a little better, could be worse, but I am definitely happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off video. So until next time you visit Brash Garage. That's all we have for you today. Headlight Restoration 101. Super easy, get it done in 10 minutes. I did it in like half an hour while filming a video, so. Super easy, super cheap. Do it today, make your ride look better.